this segment of Guess the Vibe, we're going to analyze some data from uh, a train going over a bridge. I'll, I'll give you the answer here and then I'll show you how we got there. So this is the power spectral density of that train traveling over the bridge. Uh, what I was kind of pleasantly surprised about is just how broadband that uh, vibration is across really about from 20 hertz all the way through uh, 1000 hertz. It's pretty steady. Uh, but there's definitely a peak at 23 hertz in the y-axis, which is going in the direction of the road. Uh, and the energy, the uh, acceleration amplitude measured by GRMS is about 0.9 uh, in the y-axis. So if you guess 0.9 GRMS in the y-axis and a peak frequency of 23 hertz, you were correct. So how do we get there? First, I just want to show you how I configured the device uh, for this particular test. I used a 100G accelerometer uh, and I was measuring at 20,000 hertz uh, at, with a 5 kilohertz uh, low pass filter and I had all the other sensors turned on including the magnetometer and uh, rotation sensor. So that was how it was configured. I got a massive file because I had a 20, uh, 20 kilohertz for uh, about an hour or close to an hour and uh, that that generated a 700 megabyte file so that's a lot to go through so I used our new summarizer tool to well I first split that file into uh, about 65 segments and then used our summarizer tool uh, shown here which goes through each of these different files and different channels to give you some you know RMS or, or max and min uh, of, of those different files and I could find the file uh, where the actual train was was passing over which is here. So here's the train going over in the main accelerometer. Uh, the secondary accelerometer saw a similar profile as it passed. Uh, interestingly enough the magnetometer, I don't really know what this means but as the train passed it it almost uh, the magnetic field somehow swapped. I don't know what that if that just shows that there's something wrong with the, the magnetometer, but definitely something happened there, which is interesting. Um, and then I exported this data and I analyzed it in uh, the toolbox, which I'll show in a second. But I also wanted to show what happened uh, when I, this is a different file, when I was mounting the uh, NDAC device to the bottom of the, the bridge. Uh, here's where it, it mounted kind of the magnets uh, stuck to the uh, bottom of the bridge and, and there was a massive shock event there but what I thought was pretty interesting even though it was inside a waterproof enclosure you can see that pressure change when it went from me and my hands at uh, you know just me standing to putting it up on, on top of uh, the bridge just 10 feet 5 feet above um, so that was interesting and the magnetic magnetic field also uh, alters once it becomes in contact with that large steel beam so let's go into the PSD data from uh, the toolbox. So here it is. This is the, let me make this a little bigger here. So this is in the vibration data toolbox. I uh, exported that acceleration time series data in the X, Y, and Z, and then calculated power spectral density using a, uh, I think a one hertz frequency bin width. And again, the y-axis is, is the most severe, uh, it, pictured here in red. There's definitely a peak here, but there's a variety of peaks throughout, really from 20 hertz all the way through to 1,000 hertz, and then it starts uh, trailing off. Um, and then, and again, the y-axis is in the direction of the road. The z-axis, which I thought would be the most severe, I guess, um, wasn't. It was it was uh, second, and, and that was, uh, again, it had a similar profile, but in the z-axis, it actually has a peak more pronounced at around 1,000 hertz. So you could, you could potentially be correct if you guessed uh, 1,000 hertz as the peak, but it was very, very broadband. Now, this is a pretty messy PSD, so the other thing I, I did here is calculate, uh, convert it to octave format, which, which gets it a little bit cleaner um, while maintaining that same GRMS throughout the, the frequency range. Um, but again, in this one too, you have a peak in that lower 20, 30 hertz uh, range. 
But that's this section of this session of Guess the Vibe. If you guess 23 hertz peak uh, with a close to a 1G RMS, you were correct. Although we'll give you credit if you guessed a 1000 hertz uh, peak as well. But again, there's a pretty broad band here, so almost anything between 20 and 1000 hertz is, is somewhat right. Um, but with that, thank you very much. The data is available to download and, and play with and analyze yourselves. And, and uh, we look forward to the next session of Guess That Vibe. Thank you.